This is Eggbot 2. It is a new generation tool for robotic site-specific crop and weed management. QUT has designed and built Eggbot 2, a battery and solar-powered agricultural robot that can navigate fields, identify weeds and either chemically or mechanically eliminate them, as well as spray fertilizer, which usually costs the sector $1.3 billion a year. Eggbot 2 forms part of a new generation of crop and weed management machinery, intended to work in autonomous groups across both Brodocker and horticultural crop management applications. The robot cameras, sensors, software and other electronics enable it to navigate through a field, apply fertilizer, detect and classify weeds, and kill weeds either mechanically or chemically, providing a tool for farmers to help reduce operational costs and efficiency losses. By engaging with farmers in the initial design phase, Agbot2 can provide multiple benefits to farm operations. Now this is Anatis. It is a connected environmentally friendly agricultural robot that assists farmers and vegetable farmers in their daily work by independently carrying out the following tasks, maintaining crops by hoeing and help with decision making through monitoring crops by acquisition and processing of key indicators. Anatis produces a plot report summarizing a set of data to allow farmers and market gardeners to better anticipate and manage their daily work. This robot can be connected to a smartphone or a tablet. Anatis is a connected environmentally friendly agricultural robot totally autonomous in crop maintenance. It works the ground to mechanically weed the soil, providing better water infiltration at the foot of the crop and optimizing inputs. Anatta's purpose is to establish a cooperative process between man and machine to process this data and guide the farmer in his her decisions. It moves using a laser, camera and GPS guidance unit. Its electric motor means that it is environmentally friendly silent and no polluting emissions. Its progress can be monitored by connecting to your smartphone or tablet, and Ideal 9T, Black Beast Combine in Germany. Ideal was developed to meet customer requirements both today and in the future, and was based on global market trends. A niche has been identified in the future-oriented market environment, which is why AGCO has developed this unique Ideal Combine in three models with 451, 538 and 647 horsepower. The Fent Ideal 9 and Ideal 8 feature high-performance MAN engines, and the Ideal 7 features an AGCO power engine. This ensures maximum output together with efficient fuel consumption. Helix threshing unit and the separating system ensures the ultimate in grain quality. Excellent grain quality and efficient acreage capacity are essential for the perfect harvest. That what the new Fent Ideal Combined Series offers with its unique Helix threshing unit and separating system. All grains are separated cleanly without negatively impacting on the straw quality, due to the longest rotor on the market today with its impressive 4.84 m length and 600 mm diameter. In order to handle the harvest with as much care as possible, and to ensure a constant load on the rotor, the intake augers, threshing bars and rotor fingers are arranged in a spiral around the rotor, in a similar pattern to DNA. The processor requires much less power and significantly increases the output and machine efficiency with perfect straw and grain quality. It also features easy modification to suit any harvesting conditions. Another innovation of the Fent Ideal Combine is the installation of two grain pans at the front of the threshing unit, meaning that the front end of the preparation floor can already be filled with crop. The rear grain pan catches the material from the separation area and distributes it in the rear area. The entire length of the preparation floor is therefore fully utilized, the crop evenly distributed, and efficiency maximized. The bulge of the two grain pans also allow optimal and consistent output even on slopes. Losses on gradients of up to 15% are reduced in comparison with conventional combines. The driver benefits from not having to make additional adjustments. The Fent Ideal is equipped with the largest grain tank on the combine market today. It has a capacity of 17,100. In order that the driver does not have to constantly drive back and forth to fill the wagon evenly, the Fent Ideal has a new scroll swing control. Now the next one is Eco Robotics. 
it is a solar-powered robot weeder. Their company was formed in 2011, with the name Eco Robotics, and the first prototype was completed shortly afterwards. To date, they have designed five, and their robot weeder is due to go on the market early in 2018. Unlike competitor products, the Eco Robotics model is very light, weighing barely 130 kilograms. This first version of the robot does not use articulated arms to pull out weeds, but instead sprays a small quantity of weed killer on an area that has been delimited beforehand. It uses a twentieth of the quantity of chemicals that a standard sprayer uses. What's more, it doesn't require an electrical connection, because it operates using solar energy, although Eco Robotics did use weed killer for the first version of its robot. This was simply because only 10% of Swiss farms are organic, meet Ladybird. It is a lightweight omnidirectional electric vehicle, inspired by the Coach Tinelidau insect Ladybird or the Ladybug insect. It is equipped with sensing, manipulation, communication hardware and software. Various user interfaces will be developed for the growers, contractors, and harvesters so that they can control the robot and use information derived from the system. The Ladybird was designed and built specifically for the vegetable industry with the aim of creating a ground robot with supporting intelligent software and the capability to conduct autonomous farm surveillance, mapping, classification, and detection for a variety of different vegetables. Automation can help to increase efficiency and yield, by having many of the manual tasks of farming performed by specially designed agricultural robotic devices. Ladybird focuses on broad acre agriculture and is solar electric powered. This is FarmBot. Drones may ultimately help change the face of agriculture, but it's not just commercial farming that could benefit from autonomous robots. FarmBot, whose autonomous kits called Genesis will be available for pre-order this week, simply wants to oversee your home garden. Its ambitions might be smaller than the contraptions that can remotely plant miles of seeds but Genesis looks incredibly impressive. The kit is an autonomous machine that installed atop and around a small garden in your backyard, on a rooftop, or inside a greenhouse or lab. Once built, Genesis performs nearly the entire gardening process prior to harvesting, including planting the seeds, watering each plant precisely and on a set schedule, monitoring conditions, and pulverizing pesky weeds. Genesis slides along tracks installed alongside the garden box, with the main arm also shifting left and right and popping down into the soil to perform its various functions. Once given instructions, FarmBot can be left to its own devices to follow the planting and watering schedules you picked until the veggies are ready to harvest. While it a pretty high-tech contraption, the interface is very simple. This is Ripa. Another autonomous robot that could make life easier for farmers. The Ripa Robot Robot for Intelligent Perception and Precision Application comes with a smart applicator to shoot weeds at a high speed. This robot can be used to apply the correct dose on the farm at high speed. Over the last few months, the Ripa Robot has been working on several commercial vegetable farms around Australia. Various experimental autonomous crop interaction tasks have been demonstrated including Autonomous row following and data collection, autonomous real-time mechanical weeding. Now this is Soil Cares. It difficult being a farmer today. Not only are they getting older, but they also have to grow more food on existing farmland to feed the world-growing population. One foundation believes that introducing innovative technology can solve both problems by attracting young people to agriculture while providing farmers with the information they need to boost yields. The Netherlands-based Soil Cares Foundation works with the Soil Cares Company and the to improve crop yields and promote responsible nutrient management by distributing a pioneering portable soil scanner to local entrepreneurs to use with small holder farmers. The technology in question is the Soil Care Soil Scanner, a portable unit that can provide practical soil information within just 10 minutes. Using a near-infrared sensor, the unit connects via a smartphone to an online soil database, generating a detailed soil pH level, organic matter and NPK nutrient content report. It was aimed at providing soil testing for 75,000 smallholder farmers using 165 soil scanners.